Hello everyone! Welcome to This is the Tash High. Every time I don't do a video in here for one week, I always feel like it's been the longest time since I've been in here and recorded myself, and then I put it on and I just get all happy and excitable, and it's only really been a week. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is called being clingy. Yes, I am single. <laughs> Okay, so this week is probably not going to be very funny at all because um, I sort of wanted to just have like a kind of important conversation and it's my channel and I feel like I should be able to do that sometimes when I want to. So that's what I'm going to do, okay? I'm not all just dance moves and jokes and goofiness and whatnot, okay? I have serious thoughts and emotions that I like to express because I'm a human being. I'm not some toy. Last week, tragedy struck me in my personal life. I was on my computer doing whatnot, and it froze and started to do this alarming noise, like At first, I didn't think it was that big of a deal. I was like, oh, that's, what is happening? But I was chill enough to the point where I like Snapchat and was like, oh my gosh, like my computer's doing. Long story short, it had a bad RAM, and so I had to send it off away to Apple Care for them to fix it for me. That was tragic enough for me that I was gonna have to go a couple days without my computer, because if you don't know me, I live on my Mac. Like, it's my best friend, it's my boyfriend, it's my girlfriend, like, I just live on my Mac. So I was like, oh, what am I gonna do for the next three days? If I asked them if it was gonna affect any of my files, because I didn't have anything backed up, and at that point I couldn't back it up because my computer was just freezing every five seconds. They were like, no, it's probably just your RAM, so it's not gonna affect that at all. And I was like, okay, cool. So um, I get it back a couple days later, and as soon as I open it up, it's like a brand new computer. This, is, this computer is a stranger to me right now. All of my files were gone, and that was just rough for me. Not only was it like, pictures and videos and memories and stuff like that. I am a very creative person. I had a lot of things that I had created over the years on that computer. I had like beats from when I wanted to be a producer. I had raps from when I wanted to be a rapper. Um, I write a lot so I had a lot of stories and writing on there. But yeah, all of that was just gone. I was like, what am I gonna do with my life now? I spent half that day just wallowing and being really depressed about it. Throughout the day, I was talking to my family and whatnot, and I just sort of got perspective about it, you know? One of my sisters just had a baby, and so it's like a two-week-old life that she is responsible for. Like, this life is dependent on her, and that's terrifying. Like, that's... It's a whole person. That's really, really terrifying and really, really, really scary. Terrifying means scary, so I don't know why I haven't. My other sister is up for a job this week and it's like a real job, like a grown up job. And that's terrifying and it's like really far away from home. So if she does get it, that's still terrifying. And then the whole day I was trying to talk to my mom because I needed her to send some of the programs that I had lost and I was getting really pissed off because I was calling her for hours and she wasn't answering her phone and no one knew where she was and, and then come to find out she was at a funeral the whole time. It's one of those things that, you know, you hear people say to you all the time, it's like, oh, somebody has it worse off somewhere, or, you know, you always have that, like, stupid friend who whenever you're throwing away food, like, hey, there are starving kids in Africa. But I feel like I am, like most of the people in the world, I'm really stubborn. You don't really, like, process or comprehend those types of things until it's, like, right in front of you in your life. And that was just what that moment was for me. I hope you don't think I'm like crazy because I had this like huge like emotional epiphany about a computer. I just think it's something that you know you should know and that everyone should know is that you know everyone's going through it. Everyone's got really terrifying and hard stuff to go through. It sort of helps you not blow your own stuff out of proportion and that's kind of comforting and not as terrifying. I mean I still like have those moments of depression when I remember a file that is now gone forever but I mean still for the most part, I'm on the I'm on the mellow now. Yeah, if you um, liked this video, you should you know um, I hope you learned something from it, or I hope I hope it helps you, or you can share it with someone who you think needs this in their life right now. I don't know. I don't just I don't, whatever you know. You do you. Bye. I don't know what that was.